everyone welcome back to my channel today i am going to discuss step by step procedure of full metal crown preparation in the previous video we have discussed the theoretical part in the various steps in full metal crown preparation today i am going to discuss the step by step procedure of full metal crown preparation and giving a demonstration of the preparation let's begin with the video which are the steps in preparing a tooth for a complete coverage metal crown these are the various steps that is occlusal reduction and functional cusp bevel axial reduction proximal reduction finishing and buckle seating groove before the preparation has begun we have to make a putty index for the verification of the preparation so this is the adaptation of a putty for index this is the cut putty index along the incisal or occlusal edges and here it is the verification of the preparation with the use of the index coming to the occlusal preparation here the occlusal preparation begin with the guiding grooves or depth grooves these are the depth grooves for occlusal reduction here the guiding grooves which are deeper for the functional cusp okay here this is the occlusal reduction half at a time so half of the occlusal reduction is performed the other half is maintained for the reference purposes and the occlusal reduction is done using coarse grit round and tapered diamond and number 171 l bar okay the next one is the functional cusp bevel here this is the round and tapered diamond which is used to give a functional cusp bevel at an angle of 45 degree and here it is the functional cusp bevel at an approximate width of 1.5 mm this is a wide bevel is placed on the functional cusp using round and tapered diamond okay so which are the functional cusp in uh, mandibular teeth buccal cusp in the mandibular teeth and a palatal cusp in the maxillary teeth okay and this is the picture showing functional cusp we will using round and tapering diamond coming to the depth of preparation in occlusal reduction 1 mm on non functional and 1.5 mm on functional cusp and the rotary instrument use this round and tapering diamond this is very very important here it is a video showing the occlusal preparation let's watch the first grinding is the place not at that the grooves are deeper in the functional cusp
these are the grooves which are placed on the occlusal surface then the occlusal reduction takes place in one side so that the other side makes the reduction This is the placement of functional cross bevel by keeping the burr at an angle of 45 degree. So this is the final occlusal preparation and functional cross bevel. Okay. Coming to the axial preparation. It consists of facial and lingual surface preparation. The depth of preparation is 0.8 to 1 mm and 0.3 to 0.5 mm cervically and the rotary instrument used is same that is round and tapering diet. So the facial and lingual axial reduction is using coarse grit taper torpedo diameter. So first one is buckle reduction. Like in the occlusal reduction, there are certain grooves. Alignment grooves are for the axial reduction which is placed in the buckle and lingual surfaces which is parallel to the long axis of the tooth buccolingually and mesiodistal and they are deep occlusally but shallower toward the cervical margin and if the axial reduction is completed first on either the distal or mesial half of the tooth the evaluation is simplified because the remaining intact half of the tooth can serve as a reference so here these are the alignment grooves Okay, placed on the list for the axial preparation and here the half of the tooth is prepared and the remaining intact half of the tooth can serve as a reference. Okay. Coming to the buckle reduction, let's watch this video. Alignment grooves are placed. So deeper in the occlusal area and shallower in the cervical region. And one half is completed. Another half remains at the top. This is the completed buckle preparation. Note that the chamfer finish line is distinct. Okay.
So coming to the proximal reduction. Here, this is the lip of enamel. This is the this one is the lip of enamel which protects the adjacent tooth from iatrogenic damage as the axial reduction is completed. Here the thin tapering diamond is used to produce a lip of enamel for the protection. And the proximal axial reduction is done using medium grit, short needle and coarse grit tapered top of diamond. Coming to a video of uh, proximal reduction. Here the long needle diamond is uh, used for proximal reduction. So that the thin lip of enamel can be maintained. This lip of enamel is uh, for the protection of the adjacent tooth from iatrogenic damage. So this is the lip of the enamel. And the same procedure is for other side also. So both the proximal preparation is done. Similar procedure is adapted for preparing the lingual surface also. That is lingual reduction. Coming to a video of lingual reduction. Same procedure that is grooves are placed. And the preparation to be done. See the chamfer finish line, it is very clear. Okay. And then finishing of the preparation. Axial finishing can be done with fine torpedo burr or diamond. And occlusal finishing can be done with flat and tapering fissure burr. Coming to the procedure of finishing. And this is the finished preparation. And final step that is buckle sitting group. It prevents rotation of crown during cementation and it acts as a guide during the placement. When opposing walls are excessively tapered, in tipped teeth and long span fixed partial dentures, additional grooves may be placed. What is the depth of preparation? It is 1 mm and the rotary instrument used is flat and tapering fissure burr. What is its procedure? It is placed in the center of the facial surface which is parallel to the path of insertion. Here the seating groove is parallel to the path of insertion. This is the prepared seating groove. Occlusal view of the prepared seating groove. 
here is a buccal view of prepared CJ group. Okay. And this is the completed buccal seating groove using a flat and tapering fissure but so that is about the tooth preparation for full coverage metal craft coming to recommended minimal dimensions for a complete cast craft or required dimensions of full metal crown preparation on functional cusp for mandibular it is buccal and for maxillary it is lingular palatal okay so on functional cusp the occlusal clearance should be 1.5 mm or greater so in mandibular it is buccal so here it is a functional cusp b1 is to be placed okay here the occlusal clearance is 1.5 mm or greater and on non functional cusp the clearance should be at least 1 mm Okay, here it is 1 mm. And in functional cusp, it is 1.5 mm. Here in this picture also, lower, it is buccal, 1.5 mm. And maxillary, it is palatal, 1.5 mm. And non functional cusp, it is 1 mm or greater. Okay. And here it is a chamfer margin. Okay, here it is a chamfer margin. It should allow for approximately 0.5 mm metal thickness at the margin. And note that the buccal wall of the maxillary molar is prepared in two planes. Okay. And this is the Completed preparation which is characterized by smooth, even chamfer margin, 6 degree taper and gradual transitions between all the prepared surfaces. Here is the occlusal reduction, this is functional cusp bevel, axial reduction and this is the chamfer finish line. And these are the various features of a full metal crown preparation. Functional cusp bevel gives the structural durability and it provides the bulk of the material. Here the seating groove which provides retention and resistance. Then the planar occlusal reduction it also produces structural durability. Then this is the axial reduction that is retention and resistance also structural durability. Here it is a chamfer finish lines. It provides marginal integrity and periodontal preservation. And that's all about the step-by-step -step procedure in full metal crown preparation. And thanks for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel for more videos.